We are talking about the small intestine and nutrient absorption. What does it mean when we say we absorb nutrients? What exactly is happening? Well, our small intestine is the main site of absorption for nutrients. We talked about that it is divided into three sections. It's about 22 feet long. And the area of the small intestine is 2,700 square feet. Thanks to, do you remember what they're called? Thanks to microvilli, little finger-like projections that increase the surface area and allow it to absorb nutrients more efficiently. Now, when we say that, where is all of that nutrition going? Where is your food going once you digest it? Well, it's actually getting pulled directly into the blood. So if you look at this yellow structure here and note the blue veins that are all along there, this is the mesentery. So these are the mesenteric veins and they are right up against your small intestine and they're actually pulling or diffusing nutrients into the blood and the blood is then carried not into the bloodstream. You'd think that would be, it's all headed back to the heart. No, it's actually going up and into the liver. The liver has to take a look at everything, okay? All of your nutrition, your medicine, all of those things, it's vital that they go through the liver because the liver is a chemical powerhouse that can activate, process, and detoxify things that you're consuming. Like there are literally nutrients that aren't nutrients until your liver gets a hold of them. There are medicines that aren't medicines until your liver converts them into their active form. So this system is incredibly complex. If you have questions, let me know.